G'day legends, hope you're all going well. I've been very productive inside my water photography courses lately. So in today's video, I'm going to share a quick Q&A video that I did for one of my members' uh, questions. As a part of joining the full length courses, you get access to personalized videos to all your extra questions. Uh, links are below if you would like to find out more about our online courses and our free webinars. But for now, let's get into that little question that got answered this week for one of my members named Paul. Okay, g'day and welcome to another Q&A session. Uh, this time it's a question sent in from Paul and he's wondering the difference between uh, different sizes of dome ports. So a lot of the time with dome ports, um, you can get uh, different diameters of uh, dome ports and the two regular ones are a six inch dome port and an eight inch dome port, which this one is, and you can even get bigger ones, but they're the two sizes that normally suit. So he just wants to know, is it worth going up to the eight inch dome port or is the six inch dome port uh, good enough? So in today's one, we're going to answer those questions. Basically the short answer is, um, they will both do a really good job. Uh, they obviously, to start with, dome ports are designed for wide angle lenses. So ultra wide angle lenses, uh, like your 10 mils up to your 20 mils. Beyond that, you're probably looking more uh, at using a flat port. So dome ports, to get that straight, as you probably really mostly already know, um, dome ports are for those super wide angle lenses. So then you've just got to ask yourself, what sort of photos am I going to take? So yeah, with the smaller dome ports, like the six inch dome ports, they're really designed for uh, surface level work. So your surf action shooters or anyone that's shooting anything with a wide angle lens, but above the surface of water. So, you know, your classic in the barrel shots, and, you know, your you know, up close surf action shots. That can all be done with a six inch dome port. When you're taking these sort of photos, it won't matter one bit whether you're using a uh, eight inch dome port, a 10 inch dome port, a 16 inch dome port, or a six inch dome port. They're going to do all the same things for these types of shots. So if that's your focus, then there's no real need to go up to a, a eight inch dome port. You can stick with the six inch dome port. So the advantages of a six inch dome port is obviously it's smaller, so it will pack away smaller. So, you know, getting uh, things on airplanes and all that sort of thing, you want to keep everything compact. You don't want to have anything too big if you're never going to use that um, size anyway. So definitely uh, it's a little bit more compact. Um, there's less surface area. So uh, I guess less, less chance of getting water drops, but if you use the right techniques, an eight inch dome port, um, you shouldn't have any troubles with water drops on your lens either, but that's a little, two little advantages. Okay, let's move straight to the eight inch dome port now and the reasons why you would go up from a six inch to an eight inch. So like I said before, above the surface, six inch is all you need. When you go beneath the surface, you come into um, a few problems. So first of all, let's talk about split levels because I love doing split levels. So that's why I've got myself an eight inch dome port. So when you're going the half, half shots, um, you do get magnification under the water. Mag the water just magnifies um, the shot. So what's beneath the surface is magnified to what's above the surface. So when you go a split, split level shot with say a flat port, um, it'll be pronounced difference from what's under water to what's above water and it'll sort of look a little bit strange. So with the dome port, that cor corrects it to a certain extent. With a smaller dome port, it corrects a little bit. With an eight inch dome port, it corrects it a little bit more. And now they've brought out massive 16 inch dome ports. And um, you know, it's almost uh, exactly the same underwater uh, to above water. So that's really amazing. So that is a real key. If you are interested in split level shots and you think you're going to do them a lot, well then I would consider going to the eight inch dome port. Now, the six inch dome port will still do split level shots, but it's just obviously not as well. The other thing is when you're going underwater, um, that magnification is apparent and sort of like a distortion type look and that cor corrects the distortion the bigger your dome port is. So uh, bigger dome ports for doing split levels and beneath the surface. Yeah, so to wrap up, if you're in this dilemma, well, you've just got to consider what you're going to shoot, what you think you might shoot in the future. So I shoot a, a wide range of things. I use my dome port for uh, commercial work in swimming pools, 
um, for my commercial photography. I also go underwater a couple of times a year. I like to go out to uh, reefs where there's turtles and sharks and that sort of thing. And so I'm shooting beneath the surface a lot. And so I've got like a good reason to go to the 18th dome pool. And actually I would like a little bit bigger one, um, especially for the split levels. And split levels are really cool things to uh, play around with. If you're just a surf action shooter, then um, no need to go past the six inch dome. That will do a fantastic job. So hopefully that answers your question, Paul. I know you're pretty creative with your stuff and I know you like the wildlife. So maybe you should really consider uh, looking at that eight inch dome port, it's a little bit more uh, versatile for you. Thanks legends, we'll see you soon.